What is good, YouTube? Finally back with another airsoft gun review. Now I was gonna do an airsoft gun, um, like the little spring ones, but then I got this one right here, as you can see by the title, the Snow Wolf TPSH 41. Brand new, just got it in. All right. The box is pretty plain, it's just red with black. You now it has other languages there for the, I guess, the warnings. You know, because remember, remember, remember this for your kid. You can shoot your eyes out, you know, and that is not what you want to do. All right. That is not what you want to do. You do not want to shoot your eyes out, all right. So, if you're a kid that, you know, your parents buy you one of these guns, these are sub guns. These are not toys, all right? Remember that. But they are not real. So they are not fatal either. But they could cause minor injuries. All right. So be sure to read that if you, if you do get this and you're a kid. Because, you know, kids always are trigger happy, all right? <clears throat> all right. Got more snow wolf right there. All right. That's pretty much it with the packaging all right first things first oh, you get the flux is a little heavy all right it's uh the ppsh right there you can see the beautiful beautiful smg right there on the destruction it's manual so be sure to look at that all right because you don't want you know you're gonna break you know, or you don't want to mess up your gun because you didn't read the instructions, all right? You gotta take a little look at uh, that, you know. But you know, since I'm a I'm a professional with guns, I'm just playing, all right. <laughs> um, yeah, I already did take a look at that. Here you go. So the packaging. All right. First things first. You get a pack of uh, six millimeter BBs because this is what it shoots. It's a nurse oven by Snow Wolf. As you can see, not enough. You can't even probably can't even wind up the magazine. It's a little ridiculous. Some sample BBs. I don't know how good those Snow Wolf BBs are. Uh, you get a pretty crappy sling. Um, it's probably not gonna hold the weight of the, this gun. This gun is about seven to eight pounds, give or take. All right. Here's a stick magazine that is PPSH 41. So nice, all metal. Now the tops of them, the where the they feed, they're always they're always plastic. I don't know why, but they always are. This is probably the biggest. Uh, thing that should be uh, metal because then this is like the spot that's basically getting used the most but I don't know why they do that I'm not sure no um, uh, now with this package you get the drum magazine included and I believe that magazine that stick magazine holds about uh, uh, around 500 BBs something like that now this drum magazine claims it holds 2,500 BBs, all right? So a lot of BBs. And I already got it loaded up. Because like, as I said in the past, you do check them out. Oh, shit. All right. My bad, my bad. <clears throat> now this is the, the gun by uh, PPSH by Snow Wolf. All right, now it's not real wood. It's a uh, fox wood, it's basically plastic. You know, that kind of kind of sucks. But, uh, I mean, you do get probably more battery space. I'm not too sure with this one, but um, I know with some other airsoft guns, you do get more battery space as you do, um, as you do, uh, as the wood is more like, like, since this is fake, you know, fake wood, it's plastic, you get a lot of space, but with the real wood, 
you know it's it's cut down just enough space to add a, a certain uh, sized battery because not a lot of batteries fit in them but with this one you can fit pretty much any kind of battery the stock is pretty large all right now besides we look at it being plastic um, that's supposed to be wood um, the rest is all metal like the trigger guard is all metal the trigger the safety switch from semi semi is forward sorry all right can't even talk all right but semi is forward back you hear that nice click it's full auto let that PPSH rip because that's what it's all about I'm not even sure if the real PPSH had semi auto I do believe it did not I'm not sure though I'm not I'm not an expert I mean I did say that earlier but like I said I'm, I'm just messing around I'm no expert I do know know a little stuff about guns you know the, the main things like safety you know the hazards and stuff but I'm not too um, I'm not like I've been just checked them out you know and so I don't know too much about them but um this is the electric blowback I forgot to mention that so it's pretty nice but a lot of people have complained that it's given up. I don't know how long that electric blowback will last since I did get it. And I am going to test it out. I am going to shoot it in this video. Um, but yeah, this gun could be uh, stripped, I guess, by pushing this piece forward. And then it, you know, folds, it breaks in half, folds down. That is pretty, pretty neat. But I forgot what you gotta do first. I think, um, yeah, I forgot. I'm not even gonna attempt to say anything because I am gonna be wrong. That was pretty much it. The rear sight, pretty basic, you know, for a gun in those time periods for World War II, you know, how to use basic sights. You know, gotta get production out quick. Front sight has that ghost ring. Then the little sight inside the ghost ring. Now up here, up here you do get the red army star, even though it's not red. But as you can see, that little detail right there, it's a little star right there in 1944. All right. Oh yeah, like how I said that, you could take this gun down and strip it. I do believe I saw in the manual that you pull the charging handle back and you're supposed to lock it in, push it in for safety and then, yeah, I don't know how that works. I'm not even going to try because, you know, me, I always end up breaking a lot of things, alright? So I'm not even going to attempt that. Uh, alright, well, without further ado. And me running my mouth, I'm gonna get to the shooting part. So, yeah, on the back, the base plate, the butt plate, you know, you pull that this down. It's like a little, kind of little switch somewhere in there. And I just gotta push it. Damn it. I'm just having troubles when I'm doing reviews, so. Alright, now you gotta just pull it like that. Get the connector, you get the fuse in there. All right, got the trusty 96 volt battery. I mean, I wouldn't say really it's that trusty because I mean, I didn't mess up a, didn't mess up a very nice machine gun with it. I don't know if it was a battery or if it was a, just the machine was a piece of junk, but I didn't mess it up. So, yeah, all right. Yeah, it might, might have, might have uh, been wrong about the battery space because I'm having a very tough time putting in the battery. Pretty ridiculous. There's a lot of cables in there. Uh, yes. Oh man, they yeah, can't even. Oh, come on. 
having a very, very, very difficult time putting the battery in there. Pretty ridiculous. So if you, if you are a kid that's watching, <laughs> um, you know, be sure that you're gonna have a tough time putting the battery in, or maybe not. You know, so maybe you know, I'm just terrible at putting stuff in. You know, but um, all right. First off, I'm gonna put in the stick magazine. You gotta line it up right there. That's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit tricky at times. All right. Gotta wind up the magazine because it, it is a high cap magazine. All right. I'm gonna be chronographing this, uh, this uh, PPSH with 0.20 gram BBs. See how fast, hot it's shooting. Got my Ace Tech chronograph right there. Uh, all right, and I do got a got a, a stop over there, so you know, because I am very professional, definitely shouldn't be shooting around like this. But if you do got something like that, backstop to stop the BBs from bouncing everywhere, then that's good. All right, here we go. First shot. Three fifty-seven. Point seven. I think I might have messed up the chronograph. Three seventy point nine. So it's a run in the three hundred seventy FPS. Point twenty gram BBs. All right. Now I'm gonna do a a side shooting so you can see the the action of the electric blowback on the charging handle so here we go first shot all right gotta let this thing rip all right backs for full auto all right here we go See that electric blowback? You don't really feel anything because it's not a gas blowback, it's just an electric blowback. But I mean, you do get that nice little uh, charging handle going back and forth. It has a nice little touch. Don't know how long that function will last, but a lot of people have complained that it does give out. So we'll see in the future. I might make an update video on this PPSH41. So to you, how things are going with it. Or if the electric blowback decides to give it out, which will kind of suck, but um, you pull it back, you do get the hop up right there. Uh, to the left is uh for to turn up the hop up, to turn it down is right. I believe that's how I had it on the instructions manual. But yeah, that is about it with the PPSH forty one by a snow wolf air slap here pretty nice hefty gun and I didn't put the drum magazine in some you know air guns always drop BBs all over the place if I take it out so that kind of sucks but yeah that is pretty much it with this airsoft gun review and if you got any other gun suggestions that you might want me to take a look at and do a review on. Do leave your comments down below because I am always reading the comments. All right. So don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. And I will, I will uh, answer back and, uh, and we'll see if we can get that gun in to do a very good review. I mean, even though yeah but yeah that's pretty much it with this video all right until next time thanks for watching